Friday, March 27, 2015. This cat is actually one and a half years old. He, he is not neutered because the owner finds that neutered cats are quiet and, and uh, non-responsive. He has one neutered cat male at home and uh, the male is so quiet and then there is no reaction. So now this cat has uh, fully recovered or almost recovered from the kidney failure after two days of dialysis. So the, he wants the cat to be to be kept here for two more days. Actually, uh, you can see that uh, he has this tongue ulcer, which now he allows me to to open his mouth to show the tongue ulcer. Yeah. And see that that's that's the reason he he can't eat after after being sent home four days ago. This tongue ulcer could have been developed due to his uh, kidney infection. The X-ray showed kidneys inflamed two, uh, three to six times, and also urine showed uh, bacteria and white blood cells. Now, the problem with this uh, treatment is that this cat cannot take the prescription diet KD because there's pop and the right canine. Rena canned food he can't take because there is pork as well. So according to Roy K9, the dry one has no pork. So this guy will be on this dry Roy K9 food for the next two months. Now slowly add I advise adding giving this fancy feast first and then slowly Add in the right canine uh, renal a piece at a time, mix with the, the canned food, and then the, slowly over the next few days, change him to the dry food. This this uh, one year old male cat had been on the dry food for for the last one and a half years of life. Some uh, food called fancy feast. And uh, he developed bladder obstruction about 14 days ago. But uh, because he shares a common toilet behind the kitchen with the other three cats, so the owner didn't notice about it. Till one day, one day they saw that he couldn't pee. And so brought him to the other vet immediately. But uh, for some reason, for some reason, uh, the method of treatment by the other vet is a bit uh, different, as you can see. He uses a patch. I presume this is a tramadol patch or one patch. While he does the bladder, un unblock the bladder. And uh, after four days, he or she sent the cat back with uh, Clavilox but the cat still had uh, blood in the urine and was licking the prepuce as you can see from the x-ray which I took actually shows the kidney being swollen swollen about 3 to 6 times this in another video and uh, so the the cat was not eating at all. Now today, his kidneys are much smaller and back to normal size. And uh, the cat is not too happy with me palpating it, but uh, since the cat is peeing, so there should be no problem. There's no blood in the urine and the cat ate a bit. So the owner came and was quite happy. So I, I was telling him that 
he has to observe all the male cats. If they have problem peeing by by checking the floor, the urine, because they all go to the toilet floor to to pee and poo. They don't have this sand or litter box. Uh, in Singapore, some some cats are trained on toilet floors. They go just go to the toilet and pee and poo. They don't uh, use this uh, litter box. So this is uh, quite a common practice. And in in this situation. These four cats are uh, doing it either directly on the squat toilet or at one corner like this fellow, he does his poo on one corner and the other three cats will do their own uh, business on other other areas, other corners. So as to why he gets better obstruction, it's hard to say. Uh, this this uh, could be a, there could be a delay in detecting this bladder obstruction till the kidneys were damaged and, and infected as evident by the increase in urea and creatinine as well as in uh, total white cell count and neutrophils at the first vet when they took the blood test. Unfortunately, the, the cat was sent home and there was still blood in the urine and I believe the tongue ulcer could be the cause of the uremic crisis causing tongue ulcers and uh, gum ulcers but we normally tend not to do the urine bacteria test culture and uh, sensitivity test but in this case I had it done and uh, it shows that the bacteria was resistant to the clavilocks and that was the reason why the the cat was still peeing blood in the urine after catheterization and treatment as the antibodies, antibodies given were not effective yeah. overall this cat now of course looks good quite a gentle fellow and uh, he shouldn't be given the old dry food anymore to our prior vets, March 27, 2015, 12 noon. FLUTD, in this male, not neutered cat, one and a half years old, living in an apartment and being fed dry food for the past one and a half years of his life. <laughs>